am Dr. Vilas Naik. In this small video, I am going to talk about the role of tutors in providing support to the learners with disabilities in open and distance learning system. As we know, open and distance learning system doesn't have any scope for any kind of discrimination on the basis of age, sex, class, caste, creed, or ability. That is the reason why learners with disabilities they prefer open and distance learning system. So the tutors or the academic counselors in this open and distance learning system they have a great responsibility in providing support to the learners. Now let us discuss what are the different kinds of support that they can provide to the learners with disabilities in this kind of system. They must accommodate the interests of the learners with disabilities in their instruction, in the assessment and final examinations. For example, while instructing or while teaching inside the classroom, if the teacher is aware that there are learners with different kinds of disabilities, he or she can adjust the teaching strategies. If there are learners with visual impairment, the teacher should take care to write the forms, write the letters on the chalkboard in legible handwriting in big letters so that learners with visual impairment they can see it. Similarly, if there are learners with hearing impairment are there, the teacher should teach at a higher tone, higher pitch of voice so that these learners are not able. Moreover, such teachers in open and distance learning, they should also guide the learners with disabilities in the use of the right kind of resources and technologies. As we know, open and distance learning system uses different kinds of technologies to support learners with disabilities. So the teachers have the responsibility to guide the learners in the right use of the resources and technologies. Now let us come to the what kind of resources that the teachers can provide to the learners in this open and distance learning system. Generally, the resources which are available in open and distance learning system, they are meant for the normal users, normal learners. So the teachers can think of alternative formats like Braille or large print and other formats to help the learners with visual impairment. Likewise, they can also have recorded versions of different kinds of things or different kinds of classroom activities for learners with other impairments. Learners with physical impairment, they should be made comfortable in the system whenever and wherever possible. And most importantly, the teachers who are in the open and distance learning system, they should sensitize their colleagues they are teachers and without disabilities about the problems which learners with disabilities face. If they are sensitive, aware of the problems that these learners face, then they will be able to respond to their problems properly. On the whole, the teachers in this open and distance learning system, they should play a very, very supportive role. They should provide academic support to the learners, they should provide moral and psychological support to the learners and they should also ensure that all administrative support is extended to such learners during their study in the open and distance learning system so that the learners feel very comfortable in the system and, and we can ensure their access, participation and performance in the system. Thank you. Thank you.